everyone, it's Jenny from Pauline House Public Library and welcome to our second episode of PHPL Recommends and today I'm going to be talking about ebooks or digital books. First, let's talk about Libby and Overdrive. If you haven't already, you should download the library's free app Libby, L-I-B-B-Y. You'll sign in with your library card, a barcode number, and your PIN number. Your barcode number includes all of the letters and symbols and numbers on the back of your library card, and that includes CAFE. And your PIN number should be your birthday in this format. Two-digit month, two-digit day, and the four-digit year. After signing in, you can check out and download ebooks to read on the Libby app, or you can transfer books to read on your Kindle. There are some pretty awesome collections and features in Libby that I want to highlight. Libby has a Lucky Day collection of popular books that are always available for checkout, which means no wait times. And you can have these Lucky Day books for seven days. And then after which, the book is automatically returned to the library, so you don't have to worry about returning it, and there are no overdue fees. Another great collection on Libby is the always available Classics Collection. There are 400 works of classic literature in this collection, which include Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, Called Wild by Jack London, and Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Check them out. If you've not read many classics, you'll be sure to enjoy them, and they're classic for a reason. Finally, Overdrive, the company that created the Libby app, is running a Big Library Read book club right now from March 23rd through April 13th. The book club is reading Funny, You Don't Look Autistic by Michael McCreary. The book is available to check out and read on Libby, where you can also discuss it with other readers and listen to an author interview. But next, I'm going to talk about Open Library. OpenLibrary.org is an open online project with 1.7 million scanned books you can borrow and download to your digital device for free. It's easy to create an account and browse their content by subject or search for a title or author. You can read the book on your browser or download it to the device for a designated loan period. Definitely check this website out. You'll be amazed at what you can find. Number three is manybooks.net. This is a collection of over 30,000 free classic and contemporary eBooks that you can read or download on your choice of digital device. You can browse not only titles, authors, and genres, but you can also uh, browse reviews and languages. This is also a platform for self-published authors to present their work to potential readers, which is pretty awesome. Fourth on our list is Book Boon, B-O-O-N. If you're looking to keep your mind busy while you're stuck at home, check out Book Boon, where you can read 1,000 textbooks for free. If you, you don't have to register to download any of the eBooks available on this site. Improve your skills or learn something new without having to spend money on those very expensive textbooks. Finally, let's talk about the International Digital Children's Library. Here you can find free award-winning children's books in different lengths, languages, and reading levels. This nonprofit organization promotes tolerance and respect for diverse cultures by providing access to the best of children's literature from around the world. Check out the organization's incredible website to find out more. Thanks for watching. We have some more resources listed in the video description that we didn't have time to talk about today. So be sure to check those out too. I hope you enjoyed learning about more places to find great free reading material. And what is your favorite ebook? Let us know in the comments. And until next time, take care, love your library, and be safe.